Maze is one of the most overpowered class in Terraria with many cool magic weapons that requires mana to be used. Just to make it clear, there are a lot of magic weapons in Terraria, so you can use any weapons you want. And if you want to progress in Terraria in certain order, then you can do that as well. Anyway, here's a guide for maze class to make your maze journey a lot easier. Start off by chopping some trees, then start building houses for your NPC. Go underground and mine necessary ores, and also try to mine as many life crystals as possible, which increases your health and maxes out at 400. And open as many chests as possible. You will be mainly searching for Hermes boost and cloud in a bottle. Then craft the necessary crafting stations, then upgrade your tools. For armor, platinum or gold armor will be best at this stage of game. Then also craft a gem staff. If it's night time, then collect Fallen Star. With it, craft mana crystals, which increases your mana capacity and maxes out at 200. As a maze, you will need mana for every magic weapon you use, so it is really important. If the merchant has moved in, then purchase a lesser mana potion from him, so that when your mana gets slow, you can use mana potion to increase your mana. To get a maze specific armor, you can head to our jungle to collect jungle spores and farm for enemies to obtain stingers and vine. When you are in jungle, try to obtain nature gift by breaking a blue version of jungle rose. Now craft the jungle armor set using them. You can also obtain ancient cobalt armor set by farming hornet and man eater. But if you happen to find simmer near the jungle, then you can throw a jungle armor into simmer to turn them into ancient cobalt armor. You can also throw life crystal, mana crystal and other various items to obtain many permanent buff. For weapon, you can use the same staff or obtain thunder zapper from desert chest. Or you can blow up shadow ops to obtain bile thorn. But remember, if you break 3 shadow ops, then eater of world will spawn. Also when you break shadow ops, the meteorite will spawn in your wall with this message. So you can mine the meteorite and craft the space gun and meteorite armor set. For armor, you can use any of these 3 armor set in pre hard mode because all these armors are really good. You can also obtain demon side by firing demons in hell which is one of the most overpowered spell in pre hard mode. If there is a goblin in Mason, then defeat all the goblins, then head underground to find goblin tinkerer, then purchase the tinkerer workshop and rocket boots from him. Now for accessories, you can use lightning boots, playing wings, celestial cuffs and blue horseshoe balloon. Then for the last slot, craft a mana flower using mana potion and nature's gift. This accessory will automatically use the mana potion in your inventory when your mana gets low. So this is one of the most useful accessory for mazes. And depending on what you prefer, you can change the accessory to your own preference. And always be sure to refresh your accessory to either warding or menacing and also your weapons. Now you can defeat the king slime, I have Cthulhu and eater of worlds. After you defeat Eater of Walls, upgrade your tools. And with the armor and weapons you have, you should be able to beat Skeleton as well. Now head to Arthur Dungeon and obtain Golden Keys by killing enemies. With it, open Lock Chest and obtain various loots. If you haven't, then build a elevator. Then in Hell, obtain Hell Force, Hell Stone and Obsidian. And also look for a clock, bed and bookshelf because they will be really helpful to you. Then with the Hell Force, craft the Molden Pickaxe. For a weapon, you can use Demon Scythe which can be obtained by killing demons, Flower of Fire which can be obtained from Obsidian Chest, Flame Lash which is also obtained from Obsidian Chest and these accessories will be best for this stage of game. Now build a long platform in Hell, place some buff if necessary, then obtain a Voodoo Doll from Voodoo Demons, now buff up and throw the Voodoo Doll in Lava and spawn the Wall of Flesh. Then defeat the Wall of Flesh. After you defeat Wall of Flesh, use the Demon Heart to increase your accessory slot, then head towards Corruption to destroy 3 altars to spawn hard more ores in your world. Now with the Molten Pickaxe, break the first tier ore and craft the first tier pickaxe. With the pickaxe, break the second tier ore and craft the upgraded anvil and second tier pickaxe. Then with the pickaxe, break the third tier ore and craft the upgraded force. Then craft yourself the third tier armor. But if you want a better armor, then when there is a sandstorm, head to the desert to farm some sand elemental to obtain forbidden fragments. Now with it, you can craft the forbidden armor set, which can summon a sand tornado at your cursor by double tapping down. And when it's raining, head to a snow biome and farm for ice golem to obtain ice feather. Then head to the sky to farm for wyverns for source of light. Then craft yourself the frozen wings. Then head to us underground corruption for souls of night and underground hellot for souls of light. Then craft the mechanical boss summons. And if you have more souls of light and souls of night, then craft these keys. Then place one of it in a chest to spawn mimics. Now kill some mimics to obtain greater mana potion, greater healing potion, and some early maze weapons. Also source for the wizard underground and purchase the crystal ball from him, which gives you these buffs until you die. For weapons, you can use spirit flame, craft reducing these items, sky fracture, craft reducing these items, and meteor staff, craft reducing these items. You can also use clinger staff and nimbus for additional damage and this accessory will be best for this stage of game. Now summon the twins first and defeat it. Now you can craft the magic harp and rainbow rod using souls of sight to upgrade your weapons. But be sure to save at least one souls of sight. Now summon the destroyer and defeat it. If you have few hallowed bars then craft the mage's hallowed armor set. Finally summon the skeleton prime and defeat him. After you defeat the mech bosses, craft a drax, then head towards the jungle and mine some chlorophyte ores. Also be sure to open life fruit, which increases your health up to 400, and also dropping one life fruit in simmer gives you Aegis fruit, which increases your defense by 4 permanently. And as for weapons, you can use holy trident, obtained from red devils in hell, magic harp, crafted using these items, and venom staff, crafted using these items. For accessories, you can use these. For armor, you can use the hallowed armor set or chlorophyte armor set. Now break the plantera's bulb, then defeat plantera. 
After you defeat Plantera, go to Dungeon and farm for Ectoplasm. With it, craft Spectre Bars. Then finally, the Spectre Armor Set, which will be your final upgrade to your armor until end game. If you want, you can defeat Empress of Light to open Night Glow, Stellar Dune, which are really good weapons, and also Empress Wings. Also for a weapon, you can use Razor Mine, obtained from Ever Scream during Frostmoon event. Inferno Fork, obtained from Diabolis in Dungeon. And Bad Scepter, obtained from Pumpkin in Pumpkin Moon event. As for accessories, this will be the best. Now go to the Jungle Temple and summon the Golem and bait him. If you didn't know, you can obtain Razor Blade Typhoon, Bubble Gun, and Fiston Wings as soon as you get into hard mode. But you will need to defeat Duke Fiston, which is a really hard optional boss. Because it is really hard, most people usually beat it later in the game, hence why I kept these weapons later in post golem. If you want to defeat it, then you need to catch Truffle Worms in Underground Mushroom Biome, then fish in the ocean using Truffle Worms in your inventory. The weapons dropped by Duke Fiston are one of the best weapons in the game for any class. Or you can use Razor Pine, Blizzard Staff, obtained from defeating Ice Queen in Frostmoon Event, and Charge Blast Cannon, obtained from enemies in Martian Invasion. And this accessory will be best for this stage of game. Now head to Arthur Dungeon and defeat the Lunatic Cultist. After you defeat the Cultist, head straight to our Nebula Pillar and defeat it. Now with the Ancient Manipulator, craft the Nebula Village and Nebula Arcanum, which are really good weapon. Now defeat two more pillars and before you defeat the final pillar, make sure you have your bobs and Edna ready because after you defeat the final pillar, the Moon Lord will spawn. After you defeat Moon Lord, you can update your armor one final time using Luminite and Nebula Fragments. But if you don't have enough Nebula Fragments, then you can craft it by combining other fragments. Or you can do the pillars again. Also, you might need to defeat Moon Lord few times for the full armor set and Nebula Wings. For your final weapon, you can obtain the Last Prism and the Luna Flare from the Moon Lord, which are one of the most overpowered weapons in the game, that can deal one of the highest damage in Terraria. If you want to deal max damage as a maze, then watch this video. And with that, your maze journey is finally over, congratulations on beating Terraria, and subscribe for more.